Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ronald Reagan Fox. Hello, my viewers. How are you doing? Those highly intellectual people, entrepreneurs, best of the best thinkers. I've got a good point for you to have today. It's about the British Empire. Some people are going to like it, or some people are going to argue about it, or some people are going to disagree with what I'm saying. But the, to those who are thinking big and common sensely, and those who have definite answers like us, British Empire is going down. I know that it's in um, high conscience because people love the British Empire. We love the Queen, we love the monarchy, we love the British Empire, which has been existing in this world for a long time. The Romans and now the British Empire controlling England, um, Commonwealth countries, English language, the pound standing and everything. But right now, under centuries, folks, and centuries to come, the world has changed. And it's all about the British people right now to act, to, to see this and to acknowledge this and to digest it properly to see it themselves that the world has changed because of different economies that have come around i.e. we have China we have United States of America we have EU European Union we have Africa we have Latin America you can't challenge that because the other economies are bigger and they have more population of people and they have more businesses going on and they have natural resources and they are big in business so now, the British Empire cannot compete with the rest of the world anymore. I want people who don't think locally. I want people who are in the system but are thinking on international level, on a bigger scale. Stop the ignorance of thinking in local scale, in your local communities, in your local councils of the UK Enterprise Organization. Think bigger. Look at the bigger picture. Look at the world map and look how the economies are running and the population of people to make these decisions. Because me, I digest these statements after reviewing the news of the world international mindset not local minded so what i'm trying to say the point i'm trying to say to you that the british empire has gone down is collapsing you like it or you don't like it it's happening why is it happening right now america is the superpower nobody is going to argue about it united states of america is more superpower is the superpower of the world or is the biggest nation of the world or is the boss of this world period Nobody argues about it. United States is the boss because United States has got power of authority to go and attack anybody and they have no they don't have to get permission from anyone to do it. It's only America, the big dog, the big bully, the big person who can do it. Only America has got that power of authority to do that. United States under the new world order. Now, secondly, I'm gonna talk about EU. UK is going to be working under EU. You like it or you don't. That's why most MPs have accepted it. Most people are joining in to remain in the EU. It's time for UK to have a boss. UK has never been controlled before. I know that UK natives, because it's the same blood tree I got, it's the same DNA. They, they, they don't like to be controlled. I know that. But now they are surrendering to be controlled by EU. And they're going to do it. When all of us are seeing in our eyes, the time is clicking, it's coming right now, but it's getting dead. UK is going to have a boss this time, and the boss is going to be EU. You like it, Farage? You like it, Marco Go, or you don't like it? I can see that you're losing the battle. You guys are getting in there anytime, and I made the decision already. I'm not going to review what I said already, but under the digestion of the statement of the reform, I told you already that you guys going to stay in. But I'm not going to repeat that again. That's past tense. Now tense is that we are get, they are getting there. We are getting there. They are getting in it. And most of them are surrendering to that agreement. They are going to enter anyway. That's the decision under my survey. Because if you review my statements on other topics that I talk about, I told you already that I've reviewed it for UK to stay in to fight with them as the most highly special status of UK enterprise to be in the EU. Because of that logic, you're going to fall in that trap to stay in. But when you stay in, you're going to be under the EU rules. So UK, you're going to have a boss this time. That's the EU. And once again, I'm going to come back to the point of uh, other nations or other economies that are grown. Remember, America is the boss, superpower nation. EU is coming on board. And UK, you're going to be under EU. Now, who is the boss of this world? You will see it yourself that your empire has gone down. Nice to meet you once again. This is the time whereby UK, you got a boss. EU is going to be dealing with you, America. That's why you see United US deal with uh, EU, deal trade. 
EU wants to deal with a bigger company with America, so they are playing the same syndicates. It's great drama happening right now. EU want to deal with America, and America want to deal with EU. UK, you're going to be left back. There's a lot of drama going on, but in simple terms, we people who can digest and look in further, long distance thoughts, simple. The British Empire is collapsing. Other economies are raising up, and you can't stop that because the, the centuries folks to come now, the world has changed. So UK people, you gotta accept it. There is no way out. Nice to meet you once again, Ronald Reagan Fox. I've talked about four points today. One, America is the superpower, is the boss. UK, you gonna uh, the second point. UK, this time is the time to have a boss. The boss is gonna be EU to control you. EU is gonna be controlling the United Kingdom. The third uh, point I talked about: British Empire is going down, no matter what. The fourth uh, point that I talk about, UK has to accept that. Though we all love the monarchy and we love the empire, but they have to accept that the world has changed. Centuries folks have changed. Other economies are bigger. So they're going to be using only the language of English, but to benefit their economy. So before, UK used to have power of English and the pound. But the other ones, America is using English, but speaking using the dollar. It's only the language. EU can speak the language to benefit their own their own economies, so they can play the same game. It doesn't matter. You can speak the language, but speak, benefiting your own rest. Even in Africa, people speak English, but they benefit their own economies and their own rest. It's only the the language. Nice to meet you once again. You guys hope you get the interpreter. You get the point, yeah. Thank you. Think about it. Digest it. I love you all. Best of the best. Common sense. True stories. Bye bye.